Solus. Obviously a wholesaler. BYD stack right there for the BYD battery box. What's the IP rating on this thing? I've got to put one in. Here's the specs on it. That's a HV. There's a, obviously a 48 volt version somewhere. Come on. Mm. Low voltage, here we go. There we are. Good. What else is here? They've got their own inverters. What, what am I talking about, a wholesaler? They're in, they've got their own inverters, gee. Uh, this would be the multi-mode inverter, yeah. All right, quick specs. Standard issue grid, uh, grid inverter, I'd imagine. So, oh, right, so this, uh, this uh, talks to the grid connect inverter. Any brand of inverter or just this one? Uh, no, nah, that's the, that's the fourth generation one. Yeah. You can see. So, and, uh, which, which... All right. Yeah, All right, just make... taking quick notes, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Look at the specs online if you need more details. And here's, uh, what, big three-phase one? Big three-phase three, three -phase inverter? Yeah? This one's three-phase, yes. Yeah. Normal grid connect inverter, yeah? Uh, it's for your larger systems. So. Looks like you can do 15 strings. Yeah, what's the starting of the mo uh, tracking range? Here we go. Yeah, no, I like uh, lower, lower starting points on tracking ranges, otherwise you get convoluted strings across road to road to road and try and get 20 in a string. Plus it's better on the PID. Um, oh, this one looks big. Lots of lots of inputs. I like that. Yeah, so uh, you reduce the voltage and you uh, yeah. eliminate the need for uh, PID protection. And also, as an installer, going across from row to row because your strings are too long is a nightmare. Oh, it's better just do strings of uh, whatever, shorter ones, 10, 12. Yep. Yeah. And that's that. 